WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is a TFNN noon update. Uh, my pleasure to be here. I am the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up straight after this update and author of the opening called Daily Newsletter. Now, we've got a Dow, which is up 43 points. It's been struggling. You can see the narrowness between the nine, the green nine period moving average and the 14 period moving average. Very different to what you saw at the PD top back at 27,306 on the 12th of September, uh, where those moving averages were so very strong, we were using the notation of the Chapman wave to go short, right, uh, waiting to go short. Now, the other thing that we're looking at here is that the MACD is way low than it was before, but still good. The stochastic now has just gone under 80 percent, having been there for about five, six bars, and now gone under 80 percent. That's usually a tip off to say, be careful, because the stochastic could be weakening. However, if you look at the weekly chart, we're just stuck in a narrow range between the 27,100 area and let's call it the 20, uh, 26,800s. Uh, 20, sorry, 26,700. Now, what we're looking at is in the S&P, the S&P at this point is up 4.20 and um, at 3,000. It's in a range that says with the MACD quite strong, still way underneath the high that was made in, uh, in September. But the stochastic flat at 91 percent, that's showing better internal strength in the S&P than the, you could see in the Dow. And you can see even in the weekly chart, it's holding better towards the highs than the lows. So this is going to be very important over the next few days. Uh, it needs to hold 29. I would put it at 29.72. A close under that would be very negative. But holding right here is not bad action at all. The QQQ, NDX 100, trading 191.73 is a lot weaker. It's just holding the 14 period moving average support. The MACD is good in the daily, and the stochastics at 83%. That's good. But we'll see what happens because if there's a close below 190.50 in the next two days, that's going to be a big negative. You need to see the semiconductors that are coming up with earnings over today and the next couple of days. You want to see them help instead of hurting right now. And it'll help if the SMHs can get a very strong move to the upside. You've got gold right now. Gold is trading up about nine points within that range is trying to tackle that 14 period moving average and the dollar is still not showing too much strength it has bounced but that's all it is right now we're going to in greater detail straight after this break when i have my tiger technicians hour hold tight we'll be back soon otherwise hope to see you tomorrow have a great day